U.S. policy with Cuba is changing drastically right now. It was just this afternoon that President Trump announced a major policy shift. Yeah, it's not a complete reverse course from President Obama's policy, but he is rolling back many of them. Florida Senator Marco Rubio helped come up with these new policies. He tweeted this picture today saying he worked into the night hammering out the new Cuba policy. Now John Stair takes a look tonight at what President Trump says is going to change. In Miami's Little Havana, President Trump announced a reversal of many of President Obama's door-opening policies toward Cuba. Effective immediately, I am canceling the last administration's completely one-sided deal with Cuba. He signed an order that once again restricts individual travel and seeks to keep tourism dollars out of the hands of the government. We will not be silent in the face of communist oppression any longer. But critics say the decision ignores the rapid change and opportunities following the death of former dictator Fidel Castro. China and Russia would be happy to come and say, here, you can't, you can't trust the United States, trust us. And then we're going to have China and Russia sitting on our doorstep. Call that I went to Cuba shortly after President Obama announced changes in U.S. policy, and I found that the people there were ready to embrace the changes. That was about two years ago in early 2015. And I found what you might expect, that Cuba was still stuck in the 1950s, not just because of the classic cars and the fact that there's no Internet there, but daily life hasn't changed much either. Most Cubans make about $20 a month. The government controls most jobs and businesses. I also learned that at one time, Cuba had one of the highest standards of living in the Western Hemisphere, but that 50 years of a U.S. blockade has stunted the country's economy. It is ironic that Cubans we talked to were looking for Americans for their economic salvation. I would suspect they feel today that that salvation may be a little further off than they had hoped. So is President Trump's announcement the last word on this policy here, you think? Well, I, I think it's a, uh, a fluid situation. You know, today you have to remember he was with a pretty uh, receptive crowd, right. Florida Republicans. But there are a lot of Republicans in other parts of the country that think that American businesses should have the right to do business mm -hmm. in Cuba. So it still is uh, up to Congress to lift the blockade. Only Congress can do that. So we'll see what happens uh, over the next uh, couple of months and years. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, is that process is underway, will we still be able to travel to Cuba? Mm -hmm. Well, you can still go there for humanitarian purposes, mm -hmm. as you've been able to do since the 1960s. As a tourist, as of now, no, you can no longer mm -hmm. go to Cuba. All right, well, we'll be keeping an eye on this. Thanks, John.